Welcome to the Achievable FINRA podcast. I'm Tyler, the founder of Achievable, and we have affordable courses for the FINRA SIE, Series 6, Series 7, 63, 65, and 66 exams with industry best pass rates. Each Achievable course includes everything you need to pass the first time. A full textbook, videos on key topics, thousands of questions backed by our memory enhancing algorithm, and full length practice exams. You can try it out for free at achievable.me and if you like it, use the code podcast to get you 10% off at checkout. This podcast was made from a video by Achievable's FINRA course author, Brandon Rith. If you'd like to have the visual aid of a video, please go to Achievable's YouTube channel and search for the video by the same name. Let's talk minimum maintenance in margin accounts, which establishes the equity level an investor would be at if they were exactly at their minimum maintenance level. Now that might sound kind of confusing, but we will look at a practice question together, pick it apart, analyze it, and make sure by the end of this video, you feel a lot better about minimum maintenance. Let's put that practice question on the board. An investor purchases 200 shares of ABC stock at 80 and deposits the required margin. The market immediately rises to $90, what is the minimum maintenance margin in the account? Now, if you feel confident with this, you can pause the video, see if you can answer it, and then when you hit play, we will break it down together. All right, let's look at this. The first thing that's good to establish here is just the plain old equity formula. And let's just focus on where we start. Now, this is a long account and the long equity formula is long market value minus debit is equal to equity. 200 shares times 80 is $16,000 of LMV. And we'll go ahead and plug that in. Now, if they're depositing the required margin, we can safely assume that means they're meeting the regulation T 50% requirement, 50% of 16,000 is going to be 8,000. And that will help us complete the formula. If we have a $16,000 LMV and an $8,000 debit, that leaves us with an $8,000 equity. Right now we are right at 50% equity. You can always calculate an account's equity level in terms of percent by taking the equity, which would be 8,000 here and dividing it by the market value in the account, which would be 16,000. 8,000 divided by 16,000 is 50%. Another Another quick thing to establish is minimum maintenance itself. Minimum maintenance for long accounts is 25%, for short accounts is 30%. Now again, this is a long account, so we're gonna focus on that 25% minimum maintenance level. And what minimum maintenance means is that the investor must always maintain at least a 25% equity level in their account to keep it in good standing. The 25% minimum maintenance protects both the broker dealer and the investor. The broker dealer has risk when they offer margin accounts to their investors. They're lending money to their investors that is then invested into the market. And if their investments lose significant value, it's possible the investor is unable to repay that loan to the broker dealer. For example, let's say that this investor's stock goes from being worth 16,000 to nothing. Now, while it's relatively rare for a stock to overnight go to zero, weirder things have happened in the market. And if that were to occur here, the investor owes $8,000 to the broker dealer, their position is worth nothing. And so the broker dealer basically has to chase the customer and try to pull money out of them. Broker dealer doesn't want to do that. And that's especially tough if the customer doesn't have any money outside the brokerage firm. The 25% minimum maintenance requirement requires the investor at a bare minimum to always own at least 25% of the account. If the market value starts falling, the investor's equity level starts declining. Let's demonstrate that real quick. Let's say the investor's LMV falls to $12,000. The formula would then change to an LMV of 12,000. The debit doesn't change, still remains at 8,000, which leaves us with a $4,000 equity. Let's go ahead and calculate the equity level in the account with this new scenario. A $4,000 equity divided by a $12,000 LMV tells us that we are at a 33% equity level. And that demonstrates what we just said. As the market value in a long account begins to fall, the equity level falls as well. In this example, the equity level fell from 50% down to 33%, but good news, we are still above that 25% 
minimum maintenance requirement. If the market value continues to fall, it's likely that the broker dealer is going to force the investor to do something. And when I say do something, that could mean either depositing cash in the account to bring the debit balance down, maybe selling some stock in the account so that they can use those sales proceeds to pay back that borrowed money, or even to move securities from another account into this account to add to the collateral of the account. So bottom line, as the investor loses value in their account, their equity level declines. As long as they're above that minimum maintenance level, their account is technically in good standing. Real quick, as a side note though, this account is restricted because it's below a 50% equity level. And all a restricted account requires is that at least 50% of sales proceeds from a liquidation must be used to pay back some of that borrowed money, which would bring down that debit balance. Now let's go ahead and get rid of that hypothetical and go back to the question. The question tells us that the market price of the stock rises to 90. So with that being said, we'll need to recalculate our equity formula. 90 times 200 shares is $18,000. So our new equity formula is 18,000 minus that original $8,000 debit. The debit doesn't change unless we borrow more money or pay back some of that borrowed money. And neither of those things happened. So 18,000 minus 8,000 leaves us with an equity level now of 10,000. Just to see where we're at, let's calculate the equity level in the account, which we can do by taking that $10,000 equity and dividing it by the $18,000 market value. That will tell us that we have a roughly 56% equity level in our account, which is well above that minimum maintenance level. So that should show you that it works the other way when market values increase. In a long account, when the investor is gaining on their investments, their equity level rises in their account. This account's in great standing at this point. Now that we've talked about the big picture here, let's really focus on what this question is asking, which is, what is the minimum maintenance margin in this account? And it actually is a really simple formula. All we need to do is take our market value, which is 18,000, and multiply it by that 25% minimum maintenance margin requirement. 18,000 times 25% gives us $4,500. And sure enough, that is the answer we're looking for in this question. Now, something you might be wondering is, what the heck is $4,500? What what does that tell us? Well, what that tells us is that if we have an LMV, a long market value of $18,000, if our equity level is $4,500, then we're exactly at minimum maintenance. Now to demonstrate that, we kind of have to set up an algebra question here. If our LMV is 18,000 and our equity is $4,500, that must mean that our debit balance in this hypothetical would be 13,500. And sure enough, if we have an account that looks like this, if we take that $4,500 equity, divided by our market value of 18,000, that gives us exactly 25%. If we saw an account that looked like this, it'd be exactly at minimum maintenance, and the broker dealer maintaining this account would likely force the customer to do something or take proactive measures to put the account in better standing. Remember, the broker dealer's taking on risk with this type of account. If the LMV falls below 13,500, the account is negative, meaning the amount the investor owes to the broker dealer is greater than what the account overall is worth. And a broker dealer never wants to have a scenario like that on their hands. The 25% minimum maintenance margin requirement for long accounts establishes a buffer that prevents that from happening as long as the market is not moving too fast. Now, if a stock plummets from a high price to basically zero very, very, very quickly, which theoretically is possible, we could get into a messy situation where we can actually fall below minimum maintenance and the account goes negative and then we have a big problem on our hands. But again, this whole system is in place to protect not only the broker dealer from losing out on borrowed funds that they were expecting back from their customers, but also preventing an investor from overextending themselves with the leverage they have in a margin account. Bottom line, minimum maintenance for long accounts is 25% of the market value and minimum maintenance of short accounts is 30% of the market value.